Hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing awesome. Awesome. Okay. Every year I post a video where I talk about my favorite books that I read that year. Briefly gushing over them is really what I do, and that's what I'm going to do today. I wanted to do a top 10, but I, I read so many great books that I couldn't narrow it down to 10, so 11. I, I narrowed it down to 11. So without further ado, here are my favorite books that I read this year. First we have this book. What's this book? You can't see what it is. You don't know, but I know. I'll tell you. It's The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Beautiful. S just beautiful. Such a beautiful story. Oh, honestly, I did not think I was going to like this when I first read it. My cousin told me to read it. I was borrowing it from her at the time, and then I read it, and I was... I was in awe, and now I need to read more Oscar Wilde, which I will in 2017. Very much looking forward to that. Anyway, The Picture of Dorian Gray. If you haven't read it, go and go and read it. Another book I absolutely adored is The Soul of an Octopus by Cy Montgomery. This is a non-fiction book about octopus. Duh. This book was really heartwarming. You yourself, while reading this, felt like you were getting attached to these animals, and it was it was such a great reading experience. I'm so happy I read it. This book has just kind of affected me in more ways than I thought it would, so definitely one of my favorites that I read this year. Next I have The Complete Short Stories of Ernest Hemingway. This one just took me by surprise. I was reading it very slowly, kind of forgot about it, picked it back up again, and then just got completely immersed and couldn't put it down, and all I wanted to do was read this. I'm still really new to Hemingway. I've only read this and The Old Man and the Sea, which I also really enjoyed. It's just not on this list because I just wanted to put one, but they're both great. I will be reading more of his books in 2017 can't wait. The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. This is a, is a poem. I don't read poetry, ever. I'm trying. I, we'll see. But this was absolutely beautiful. I loved it so much. I had been wanting to read this for a really long time. It did really help when reading this that this edition had a lot of illustrations that I found gorgeous. I've reread this a couple times since I first read it now and it's just, it's stuck with me. And if you haven't read it, give it a shot, maybe. The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oakes. This is probably one of the most heartbreaking and beautiful young adult books I've ever read? Ever. Young adult books should aspire to be this because holy crap, holy crap, I don't even, I just, oh. This is one of the most saddest but beautiful books I've read in such a long time. Ah, oh, I will never forget Minnow Bly. Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. I've read quite a few Palahniuk books this year so far and this is my favorite one that I've read out of all of them, hands down. It's, it's just, it's Fight Club and I would tell you about this but the first rule of Fight Club is you d don't talk about Fight Club. So I'm just, I'm just not gonna tell you but you know, if you haven't read it, go and do that. The Moon is Down by John Steinbeck. It's Steinbeck, of course there would be one of those on my list. I read this alongside my best friend. We both really enjoyed this story. It starts off slow, but it just slowly just creeps in and just like, you're, you're just completely engulfed in the story and it was beautiful. The Changing Tide by K.A. Dowling. This is a book I have not hauled yet, so if you're wondering where this came from, sorry, I will haul it soon. The author contacted me and asked me if I, if I wanted her book. She said, hey, I have a book about pirates. Do you want it? The second I read Pirates, I'm gone. I was gone. Give me the book right now. I want it. I want it. I need it in my life. This book was so much fun. I think what I appreciated the most about this book was the way she wrote about the pirates. They felt real. They felt like actual pirates. They were not romanticized. They were not hot rock stars that look like Jack Sparrow. I mean, of course I love Jack Sparrow, but whatever. I would really recommend this if you are a fan of, you know, pirates, or you're a fan of young adult fantasy, all of that stuff. This would be right up your alley. It's just, it's great. And the characters, oh, they're, they're great. <laughs> Next up we have We the Drowned by Karsten Jensen. You're probably not surprised. I talk about this book all the time. I just, I just won't shut up about it. And I won't shut up about it because it's amazing and it's beautiful. And it is just everything I could ever want in a book. It is just 
Uh, and of course we have Moby Dick by Herman Melville, one of the best books I've ever read. It's an incredible book, and if you haven't read it, just read it. Read it and just and fall in love with it like I did because it's it's beautiful. I have said beautiful I don't know how many times within this video, I apologize, but that's all I can think of right now. And the last book I will be talking about for today is obviously a work of art, amazingness, duh, and that's Meg Nightstalkers by Steve Alton, the fifth, maybe, book in the Meg series about a shark that eats a lot of people, a prehistoric shark, giant, giant shark, the Megalodon, that's extinct, but no it's not, is it? I don't know. You'll find out if you read the book. I hope you get the, the sarcasm that was just going on. If not, I was being sarcastic. But still, it's just so much fun! I recommend these books to everyone because if anything, you will laugh. You will laugh at the sheer ridiculousness that is these books. And you will say, hey Erica, thanks for making me laugh. You're welcome, person. You're welcome. And those are my favorite books that I read in 2016. I would love to know what are your favorite books that you've read this year. Leave them in the comments below because I love recommendations and I just want to read everything. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in another video soon.